Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI Ultimate Walter. We are going to start this um, episode off here in Honolulu and we're going to pick up some side quests. So let's uh, first talk to this one here and we'll pick up a side quest from him. And soothing seaweed. Okay, so once you pick up a side quest from him, let's head over and open up the map. We still have a few more to pick up, a couple more to pick up, so let's uh, pick up the next one right in front of us. And now we'll pick up this side quest right beside her. My kingdom for some Kenalomari. Okay, and the next side quest is all the way east of uh, town there, so I'm just gonna head there. Okay, so I'm picking up this side quest right now, and this side quest is gonna be called... The Measure of a Man. Okay, so let's zoom over to Gondolia Sea. We're gonna have to go to the Strand so we can um, get a teleport for the Strand because I didn't even get it last episode. Okay, so here I am at the Strand. I'm just gonna depart here just so I can get a, a uh, teleport here. And now I'm gonna get back on my boat. Okay, so open up the map. We are gonna head all the way. We're gonna head all the way um, north, and then we're gonna make a. And then we're gonna go east to that Insula Island. So. And from the strand, nope, I don't want to depart. From the strand, I'm gonna head north. Looking on the map here, we're just heading, we're just gonna keep heading straight. As far straight from the strand as we can. As we can go, and then we're gonna make a little, a little turn east to this Insula Island over here. Now this is Insula Algarum, and this is where we're doing one of our side quests. Alright, so we talk to this guy and we get our, uh, item here. Alright, so that's one quest um, complete, but we're not going to turn it in just yet. Now we're going to look on our map here, and we're going to see sparky spots. We have four of them in total here. So let's go and grab those sparky spots. I think in order for us to grab them, we're going to have to mount a creature. So let's just head up and find something to mount, because there's no way we're going to be able to cross. Oh, we, oh, it looks like we can also get that treasure too. I think, depending on which multiple creatures we have here. So let me just uh, look around for our, for the creatures amount so we can grab the items we need. Okay, I'm just gonna cross this bridge here, and I think I see it right now. There it is. All right, so let's kill this sparkly, this uh, sparkly monster, so we can ride the dragon riders, and we'll be able to grab some new items. All right, I'm gonna start with multi thrust for Jade here. That'll kill one of them, which is great. And uh, we'll finish- I think we can finish these guys off with something as simple as Heli Chopper. So we don't really have to use too much MP here. There we go. Okay, so let's ride this thing. And let's go grab the Sparky Spots first before we- Anything. So we're gonna head right down south and grab those uh, Sparkly Spots. It looks like they're way above or something. Hold on, let me look up here. Can I get through? Yes, I can. Okay, we have to fly way above to get them. Oh, wow. It's pretty cool. I didn't even think we could fly this high. Okay, so we're here's one Sparky Spot here. So let's have Sparky Sap, Fatalistic, and Fatalistic. And I think there was one right across from here, right? Yeah, there is. Okay, so let's go grab that one. And I think that one's... It showed the grid over here, didn't it? Hold up. It might be down, maybe. There it is! Alright, so let's descend and grab this rocky spot here. And that's the Savvy Sapphire. Now, where's the other two? Okay. We're, we're just gonna go head east now. And I can see from here, right on top of that island, actually. So I'm just gonna descend. Descend right on top of this little rock here. This little piece of land, grab this. Pitch Pearl, is that all though? Okay, there's one right, right all the way west now, so... Okay, I see this rocky spot from here. I'm gonna grab it. And that's gonna be... Oh, no, 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 no. Ethereal Stone. Okay, so that's all the sparky spots here. Now we can grab that... Those two treasure chests. That, uh, we skipped out. These two right here. So let's descend. Grab the first one here, which is a mini metal. And grab this one here, which is molten globules. We're gonna keep flying around until we get the until we uh, get the other treasure chest that we're missing. There it is. I think that's it. Yeah, here's one right here. 
Right, okay, so let me descend. We'll grab this birth spot here. I mean, this uh, treasure chest here, that's another mini metal. So looking at the map, it's right over here. And now we're gonna go for the next one, which I think is might be across from us. So let me fly up here. Okay, so here's the other treasure chest right over here, another one. This is a gate of evolution. So I'll open up my map and it's right on this island here. Okay, and I'm gonna fly around and see if there's any more chests. And, and if there's not, then we'll continue to the next area. Okay, so I don't see any more treasure chests. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom back to Lana Lulu and we are going to claim our reward for this quest. All right, so tell us to the boy here. He tells you to go ahead and give it to the mermaid. So let's give it to the mermaid. All right, there we go. We should uh, complete our quest now. Let's talk to the boy now. And now we should uh, be able to complete it. Now we got five molten globules from that and another side quest complete. So let's go ahead and do the other two if we can. Now we have to go to that far west island over there. So we'll, the fastest way to get there is to uh, head east. First I'm just going to use magic water because I don't feel like getting into random encounters while I'm trying to talk. Okay, so we're just going to head all the way east here from Lonolulu until we get to the edge of the map so that we can loop right to the west side. As you can see on the map here, I'm, I'm just going right off the edge and that's going to lead me directly to the Insula Island there. So I'm just going to keep going straight and I'll start my playthrough up once I'm close to the island. Okay, so I'm coming up to the Insula Island right now. As you can see here, I am on the map on the west side island there. Okay, so let's go land here. Disembark here. Insula Incognita. Okay, so our first goal here is to get, um, well, there's no Sparky Spot, so we don't have to worry about that, but we're gonna get powered up here, because we have to finish that quest. Um, Buff Buff. So in order for us to get Buff Buff, we need Jade and the Hero to be pepped up. So let's go f Hmm. Okay. We're gonna attack uh, these green trolls because I think they're a new variant. So let's go start them. Boss trolls, yeah, these are definitely new. Okay. Oh, Zill's already kept up. Well, I don't have to worry about him then. Now we just need Jade. Hopefully, Jade doesn't take too long to get um, pepped up here. Alright, so I'm switching out the main hero for Rab because uh, I need to keep Zill pepped up. So he doesn't waste his pep power while I wait for Jade to get pepped up. Okay, so we got Jade pepped up now, which means I can switch out Rab. Okay, so we're just gonna head all the way straight down. Straight down here, through un un under this uh, little bridge here. And make a right turn. And just keep heading straight until we find one of those nightclubbers. Which I believe is these enemies here. So let's uh, take this thing on. And use our buff buff. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use. Uh, I wanna use a weak move, like maybe like cutting edge or something. I don't think that'll kill it. Okay. Now let's see how much. Yeah, now attack with uh, Savano, just a little whip attack. Weaken it some more. Alright, so that's weak enough. Now I'm gonna call out uh, Rab for Jade, and we're gonna use Buff Buff right now. As long as she doesn't run out. Oh! She's flash she's flashing, so she might run out. I'm just gonna defend. Alright, pet powers, buff buff, and now we have to kill this thing with buff buff. That's why it has to be weak. So here we go. Okay, there we go. Now we got quest complete for sure. You defeat a nightclubber using buff buff, head back to the bar in Lulu, not the old man no. So you have to make sure that you get the kill with buff buff. As I just did there. Now we'll go back to Lulu and claim our reward. Okay guys, here I am. I'm just talking to this guy and claim my reward now. And we got a Venus here for that. And another side quest complete. The measure of remain. Okay, so let's go rest up at the inn and prepare to do the final quest in Lulu.
Now our goal from here is to head just all the way north to the next Insula Island there. Uh, all the way northeast. I'm just I'm just gonna use holy water because I don't want to get into any encounters here right now. We have to track down a tentacular and we have to use Savon. We have to have Savondo and the main hero pepped up. So we're just gonna drop drop off at the island first so we can get an auto save there. And that island actually has new metal slimes. It has vicious and I think it also has it has vicious liquid slimes and I think it also has vicious king slimes, which are really good experience. But I'm not gonna do any grinding right now because I still need to get all my party members back. So don't really do any grinding right now. We're gonna do, we'll do grinding to level 99 later in the playthrough. Later in the walkthrough, sorry. All right, so we're just gonna drop off here, and there's one uh, sparky spot that we can get here, so we might as well get that right now. All right, so I'm pretty sure you can get this in Act One. I think I just missed getting it, so I'm just gonna grab it now while I'm here. Now we're gonna prepare to. To uh, fight the tentacular, so what we're gonna do here is get Savondo and the main hero pepped up. So I'm just gonna choose a random monster to, to pep up on, which I'll choose one of these vicious king slimes. Oh, I got Savondo pepped up as soon as I clicked fight. That's awesome. So I'm gonna switch Savondo out right away, which means I can just uh, line up, switch Savondo up for Rab. So I'll just. I think what I'll do is I'll just kill these guys. Or I'll kill most of them and I'll, I'll pep up a little, get uh, the main hero pepped up a little bit. Once he's close, once I feel he might be close to pepped up, I, I will start fighting the tentacular because we have to kill the tentacular. Um, we have to kill him with the uh, pep power. Okay, so let me just focus on on uh, getting the main hero pepped up a little bit here. Okay, I didn't I didn't really do too much um, defending on him. I'm just gonna get the I'm just gonna get the main hero pepped up on Tentacular instead, so that I can weaken the monster, and then that'll make it easy for me to finish off the boss with ten with the Tentrum spell that we have to use. So let's try and find the Tentacular. Okay, so I just got a new Acolyte while searching for Tentacular. Virtuoso Vanquisher, award for claiming victory in at least 700 battles. Oh, there we go, we got it. Yeah. Okay, now I gotta get the main hero pepped up here. Okay, so I'm just gonna defend with the main he with the main hero, try and get him pepped up. Okay, I got him pepped up there. The, e the easiest way I found him to get him pepped up is to make sure you put the tentacular to sleep and take out his tentacles. So once he's asleep and his tentacles are taken out, try and pep up the main hero here. I'm gonna defend with him now, so I can take out one of the characters here for Savondo. I'm gonna defend with Jade. Alright, perfect. Oh no. Don't pep up, Rab. Okay. Let's go to Tidex lineup. Take out Rab for Savondo. Confirm, and now we're ready. Rang, honey? And now we are ready to finish this boss off. He's sleeping. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 don't you regenerate your tentacles. Okay, so far so good. Oh my god, can I just play? Please, give me my main hero. Alright, perfect. Alright, so here's what we want to do. Okay, defend. I need to place the hero so I can use Temper Tantrum. So, pet powers. And here we go, Temper Tantrum. This is what we want to do. Only, you have to use it as the main hero with Savondo and the hero pepped up. So, let's use that. And now we have to Fire. kill it. Hopefully we kill it. Err. Quest complete. So make sure you weaken um, ours. Make sure you weaken uh, the tentacular enough to finish it with a final blow. And we'll get this item here. Perfect. Now we can zoom back to Ronalulu. And claim our final re side quest reward. Okay, so here's a quest. I'm just turning it in right now. And quest complete. We get a pen. To rang, which is good for Eric if you're on the boomerang path. Otherwise, if you're not, uh, eventually in your endgame you probably will be because we have to max out everything. At least it's another side quest complete. So, that's all the side quests for Lana Lulu. Okay, so there's one more thing that we're gonna do before we end this walkthrough, and we're first thing we're gonna do is go rest at the is go rest at the end here, and then we will begin, and then we're gonna teleport to Lana Lulu C. 
Okay, so once you teleport to Long Lucy, we're gonna head all the way up north until you, you see the first pillar of light there to go to Insula Centralis. So I'm gonna start my walkthrough up once I reach the pillar of light there. Okay, so here on the map here, this is the pillar of light that I'm talking about right up north, as you can see where I am on the map. And we are gonna go right through here to enter the Insula Centralis. Okay, so once you, uh, you teleport here, we're gonna disembark on the island. And now we have some new enemies here as well as an item. Alright, so talk to her and you can get a seat of skill. So she gives you a seat of skill. As you see, we just acquired. And we have some new enemies. Hey guys, so there's one more stop we have to make. So what we're gonna do is go back on the boat here. And this is gonna be the last stop for the walkthrough. So let's just get back through the pillar of light. And we're gonna go west to that, to the first island in front of us there. This island right here. This is Insula Borealis, I believe. Insula Borealis, okay. So, there's no new sparky spots here, but... Let's uh, kill some monsters to build our beastry up here. Start with multi thrust with J. Oh, one of them was a critical. And probably fish them off the whip, right? Yep. What? I'm surprised one of them survived the whip. So now that we killed the monster here, let's check our info. Insula Borealis. Okay, we have all the monsters here, so we don't have to worry about any more grinding. Alright guys, so that's going to end this episode of uh, Dragon Quest XI Ultimate's walkthrough. And what I'm going to do now is, that I'm, is make sure you rest up, save your game, because in the next episode, we are going to continue with the story. So I'll see you then, and... Thanks for watching.